can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. Moments away, it'll be the Denver Nuggets going up against the Utah Jams. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. the new season underway GA what was the main focus for you in the first game of the season well sometimes you, you lose a little bit of edge in the offseason so preseason's fine for getting your game in the shape but now you got to bring the right mindset to the game now here's Billups outside Anthony six to shoot and, you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky, small forward with a quick trigger release and elite score. Denver shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. And, you know, a lot of times, guys, in some of their performances last year, their free throw numbers helped them win games. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Now, here is Bell. Outside Kirilenko. Dish now to Williams. Shoots the three. The shot by Kirilenko, no good. And here's a follow. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. And of course, this is the first they've seen of this Utah ball club since last year. And they're facing the team that dismissed them from the postseason last year. So certainly a little payback in mind. We know that's in the past. You can't change that for sure. Nevertheless, a win would be sweet. And here's Nene after the three-pointer from Darren Williams. Williams against Billups. Cast to Nene. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Look at the intensity of Nene. One of the strongest guys in the game. Phenomenal at scoring the ball inside. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Millsap. Back to Williams. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Hayward, it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Boy, look at how steady Hayward is. Even with the defense all over him, he's not distracted at all on the jump shot. And he's going up for the LU and finished off by Martin. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley. -oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. I tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery, and it's fine. What nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. Now here's a follow. And the pass to Billups. Outside, Martin. Aflalo kicks to Anthony. Pene setting the pick for Anthony. Fires top of the key. And there's another one for the Nuggets. A mid-range master. Carmelo Anthony looks to attack from this area whenever he can. Now Williams. High arcing shot. The shot that time, not on target. Great D that time for Martin. Nene with the screen on Hayward. Nene against Millsap. Martin the pass to Carmelo. 
His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4-4 from the floor. Here is Hayward. Passes it to Bell. Out to the right wing. Millsap with it. Now guarded by a follow. Eyes again. Millsap. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. Nuggets have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Nene with the screen on Hayward. Anthony against Hayward. Outside Billups. Martin with the screen for Billups over Williams. Billups, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Williams looking around. Millsap sets the pick for Williams. To the middle, stolen by Nene. Outside Billups. And it's Anthony, top of the key. And yes, a nice assist from Billups. Anthony's got seven. Good thinking from Anthony. He's so good at going right up with that shot. Pass to Millsap. Dishes it to Williams. Back to Millsap. Can they get it? Martin with the block. Got to be careful around Martin. Kenyon Martin's athleticism allows him to send shots in reverse with force. And stolen by Darren Williams. And it's Darren Williams with the finish. You've got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now here's Billups. Nothing on the board. On the wing of Flello. Pocket six. Just his first attempt. That's good on the jump shot. Jazz trail by four. And here is Williams. He's got five. Kirilenko with a screen on Billups. Williams passes to Kirilenko. There's the feed to Millsap. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Little you can do. Millsap enjoys going right at the defense when he's this close to the bucket. Outside Billups. Six on the shot clock. Well, now gets me to get a shot off here. Puts it up from 17. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense could react. Williams against Billups. Millsap sets the pick for Williams. It's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will retain possession. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch and that could be a real difference maker here tonight here's Williams he dishes it to Bell launches a three knocked away and it goes out of bounds last touch they say by Martin and converting turnovers into points was their specialty. Second in the league in that category. That is really how they're built. And their assist numbers tell you all you need to know about the kind of team they were. They played unselfish basketball at its best. Aja Bell on the wing. He's guarded by a follow. Williams for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Williams has got his third bucket of the night. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Anthony kicks to Billups. The three. And it's Kurlenko with the rebound. Utah's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. No good from Bell. 
And Anthony's got the ball here for Denver. A follow, this is to Martin. And the wide open shot from Billups gets the three pointer to fall. And the Nuggets lead by four. Taking advantage of the opportunity to put his range to good use. Billups, very effective from behind the arc. Martin against Karolenko. On the wing, Williams. He's got eight. Down to five on the shot clock. Count the basket. Williams has got ten. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Pass to a flow. Back to Anthony. There's the three. Rebounded by the Jazz. And a wide open look for Kirilenko. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got three assists now in this one. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. Start Anderson, he's checked in for Martin. Smith comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Ty Lawson subbed in for Aaron Aflalo. Francisco Elson's checked in for the Jazz. Watson comes in for Raja Bell. Lawson outside. To the inside. Anderson inside, working on Williams. Anderson passes to Lawson. Drilled from 11 feet out. And the Nuggets lead by one. Boy, did he burrow his way in there, and the D just sort of backed off. Outside, Williams. There's a screen. And Utah again with the bucket. And he's five of seven, finding a nice rhythm offensively. Nene outside. The pass to Billups. Smith on the way, guarded by Kirilenko. Smith with a wide open look. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Nene outside. Knocked loose. Outside, Billups. Over Watson. Offline from the top of the key. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And they look strong here in the early going. Here's Elson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Now, taking a look at some stats for Smith, some last season stats for him. Average 15 points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. And every team wants a score to give them a lift off the bench, and, and that's just what he brings. Well, he's instant offense. I mean, the game's momentum can be going one way, then bam, his scoring turns the tide. And the first one at the line is good. Al Harrington's checked in for the Nuggets. Anthony comes in for Chauncey Billups. Oh, 
Both shots good from the strike. The Nuggets trail by three. Passes to Harrington. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the first. Out to Smith. The dish to Harrington. Denver passing it around. Anthony looking it over. He feeds it to Anderson. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. And you got to love Anderson's hustle, especially how hard he goes after the offensive glass. Pass to Watson. Back to Williams. Here is Singletary. Watson finds Williams. Here is Singletary. Shot clock at six. Shot from the top of the key. Good on the jump shot. Williams has got 14 points for the game. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's at hot. With the step back. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And defenses are understandably wary of giving Smith too much room to shoot, which is why they foul him at times. For Denver, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Well, I love the confidence that JR shoots the ball with, and on occasion now, he can shoot you in or out of games when he falls in love with that three. It's the second from the line. And it's Watson with the ball for the Utah Jam. Pass to Carr. Over to the wing. Watson with it. Outside Williams. He kicks it to Elson. Back to Williams. Over Lawson. And Utah again with the buttons. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Anthony up on top. Over Moore. Anthony with the bucket. Anthony's got nine. In this close into the cup, Anthony makes it look easy. Nice soft touch on that one. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Jazz lead by two. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the spring. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Jazz. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And they've also done a great job turning defense into offense tonight, creating turnovers and capitalizing on the other end. The Nuggets trail. Down low. And Harrington gets it to go in on the assist by Anthony. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Here is Singletary following the basket by Al Harrington. Williams against Smith. They grab their own miss. The Nuggets shooting around 60% of the night. Amazing work offensively so far. 
second shot opportunity, and it's good on the way up. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Here's Elmore. Singletary uses the glass to finish the layup. Singletary's got the game tied up here for Utah. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. Smith outside. Anthony in the corner. Over Watson. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Unfortunately, 2009 first overall pick, Blake Griffin, missed all of last season with an knee injury. And thankfully, he is back this year. Griffin is an incredible athlete, already one of the best dunkers in the league. I cannot wait to get a full season of his talent. Lawson kicks to Anthony. to the paint. Here's Anderson. And finished off by Anderson. Looking agile there in the pick and roll. Anderson, great job capitalizing on that finish. And there's the pass to Elmore. Here is Singletary. Defended by Anderson. A shot by Singletary. No good. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know, I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Out left of the wing. Here's Elmore. Lawson defended. And that one's good. Singletary. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Anthony left side. Inside. Cuts off the pass. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Fans of Darren Williams having a party right now. Hard not to be inspired by his performance tonight. Awesome, the pass to Smith. To the wing right side. Anthony in the corner. With the teardrop. And Anderson kicks to Anthony. Smith on the wing. He's covered by Watson. Anthony's shot is off. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Ball's knocked loose. Taken away by Anthony. To the middle. Here's Harrington. And Harrington throws it down. And that's leadership right there. Anthony wanting to work the rock over to an open teammate. Watson, the pass to Elmore. Out to the wing. Jazz passing it around. Watson, the pass to Singletary. Over Anderson. A shot by Singletary, no good. And so it's Lawson with it, bringing it up for the Nuggets. And the call will be against Darren Williams. That's his first foul. A different look for Denver. Nene, he's checked in for Anderson. Martin comes in for Al Harrington. And it's a flawless in for J.R. Smith. the Nuggets with the ball. Anthony on the wing. He wants to get it to Nene and does. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't have it. Here's Elson. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And Williams is very effective in that pick and roll. Superb at knifing passes through tight spaces in these sets. Now here's Anthony. 11 points in the game. Here's Martin. And it's Kurlenko with the rebound. Utah trailing here. Outside Williams. 
Here's Elson. Kicks to Williams. There's the pick. Five to shoot. The basket by Elson. He has six. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Now here's Anthony. Back to Lawson. Anthony in the corner. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. With a forward who can handle the ball like Anthony, it opens up so many options for your offense. Williams passes to Elson, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Sent away with a Ford. And it's out of bounds. The Nuggets able to retain possession here. Chauncey Billups checked in for Ty Lawson. <laughs> then for the Jazz, Paul Millsap is checked in for Elson. And Earl Watson is subbed in for Williams. Phillips dishes to Martin. Lock at six. Anthony up on top. Ended by Hayward. A shot by Anthony. No good. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. Taken away by Anthony. Passes it to a flower. Mops it up for Anthony. Taken away by Kirilenko. Here's Bell. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Utah shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Free throw drops for Bell. The Nuggets trail by three. Pass to Martin. They're coming, they're coming. On the wing of Flello. Baseline jumper. Rebounded by the Jazz. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now here's Billups. Andre Kirilenko unable to get his shot to go. Billups with the ball. He's picked up by Milson. That one good for two. Nene has got four this quarter. You know, the fact that Chauncey Billups is such a great decision maker is why you want him running your club from the point guard spot. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Well, while we have a second, let's show you the list of players who put up the most points last year. Third is Carmelo Anthony. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Watson with it. No scoring in this one. Hayward outside. Millsap sets the pick for Hayward. Four on the clock. And it's slammed in by Millsap. Really a smart player, Paul Millsap. I mean, he just has a sense of what to do and when to do it, especially cutting after setting the pick. Now here's Billups. Anthony down low, ended by Hayward. Hayward 
grabs the board. Jazz leading by three. Here's Karolinko. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Hayward's got three assists tonight. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now, here is Martin. Here's Anthony. The rebound by the Jams. Kirilenko's got four rebounds in this game. As to Watson. Millsap. That one no good. Good work defensively by Anthony. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him but luckily his teammates have picked up the slack. A follow the pass to Nene. Here's Anthony. And it's Anthony again missing. Well it's been a turbulent quarter. Really rough for him. Nothing going his way. But he seems determined to shoot his way out of it. The pass to Hayden. Two minutes remaining in the first round. Two minutes. Over a follow, Hayward finds Millsap. And Millsap slams it in. And this is what happens when Millsap gets deep inside. Superb at finishing with force. 143 left to play in the first half. Now here's a follow. Outside, Phillips. Over Watson. Trying to end the drought. And with that, the Utah leaders cut down now to just five and a bucket from Nene. Here's Watson. Still without a basket. We've got 108 left now here in the second. Kirilenko kicks to Watson. Six to shoot. Off pass to Hayward. Taken away by Anthony. Here's Billups. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got his fifth assist in this one. Silky smooth stroke that time from Billups in the mid-range. Now here's Watson. Pass to Millsap. To the left side wing. Hayward kicks to Bell. Over a follow. Rebound by Nene. Nene's got six rebounds in the game. Good work there as it goes. Anthony's got 15. And Melo is highly explosive. Nailing shots left and right. The D has got to get it out of his hands. Now Watson. the screen on Billups. Watson the bounce pass. Fade away. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Jazz out in front leading by just one. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been one outstanding game from Darren Williams. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And you know, that's not a job they ask him to do very often, but in the first half, I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Now here's Hayward. Bill Zamp looking it over. Williams with a clean look. No good on the three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And a follow kicks to Martin. Pass to Anthony. For the lead. Outside for Martin. Williams against Phillips. 
and it goes down two points. Phillips has got the first points of the second half up on the board for the Nuggets. Neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. From 18 feet away, and Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Billups. Phillips has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And here is Williams. Millsap is screen on Billups to the paint, looking to end his cold spell, and it's slammed in by Millsap. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. Now here's Anthony. He's got 17, and he uses the glass on the lane. Anthony's got four points this quarter. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. Here is Williams. He's got 18. Millsap a screen on Billups. Williams passes to Millsap, and he gets it to go. Millsap's got 12 points in the game. Superb concentration that time from Millsap, the veteran, just able to overpower the defense on these tough finishes. And stolen by Hayward. Here's Kirilenko, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The defense comes at Kirilenko hard, but no problem for him. He stays focused and physical, still able to get the shot off absorbing the contact. For Utah, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And you've got to love the all-around game Kirilenko has. He's terrific at both ends, and he can play at any pace, makes an impact all over the floor. He hits both from the stripe. For Denver, they've gone three of three from the field since halftime. And they were third best in the league in terms of scoring off your mistakes. As good as anybody at turning your mistakes into makes. And you go back to their scoring last season with all the weapons they had, putting points on the board was never a problem. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Wills a screen on Billups. Here's Williams. And that one's good. Millsap. Millsap's got 14 points for the game. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Now here's a follow. Here's Anthony up and in on the way. Anthony's got 21. That would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. Williams against Billups. Williams with the ball. 18 points for him. And it's good. That bucket takes him to nine for 14. Oh, soft touch on the floater by Williams. A shot with a high arc to beat the defense. Time, out, time, out. time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Without question, Darren Williams displaying his skills today. Well, you know, he's destroying them right now, guys. This defense has to make an adjustment to try and cool him off. Well, while we have a second, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a list of the league's top shooters from last season. Third spot, Nene. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you.
just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Anthony. Gonzalo kicks to Mark. Just five on the clock. Here's Nene. Good work defensively by Mosin. And you know, that's their first miss after knocking down four in a row to start the half. Phillips against Hayward. Outside Williams. Millsap a screen on him. Williams for three. Another miss by Williams. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Hayward against Phillips. Here's Anthony. And another miss by Denver. Jazz leading by three. Hayward passes to Kirilenko. Hayward outside. Feeds to Millsap. All sorts of time. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Hayward's got assist number five here tonight. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Nuggets. Fishes to Martin. Outside Billups. Now the feed to Nene. That one goes. Count it. Nene's got 12 in the game. Billups spreading that ball around like butter. Williams against Billups. Outside Williams. Denver grabs the miss. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Back to Billups. He dishes it to Nene, and he gets the button. Nene's got four points this quarter. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Williams against Billups. Millsap a screen on Billups. Here's Williams, and it's slammed in by Millsap. Love the court awareness on that one. Williams demonstrating his outstanding vision by setting up the open man. Outside, Billups. Kick out to Aflalo, and he gets the whistle three. for the three-second call. Taking a look now at some numbers for Darren Wood. Great showing for him last season. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Ten assists and four rebounds. And really, he sets the table for this team with his playmaking. Unselfish at times to a fault. He just makes everybody around him better. Denver making a switch here. Smith has checked in. And Utah with a change here, too. Watson, he's checked in for Williams. There's the pass to Hayward. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Aaron Aflalo. You know, Hayward's really an outstanding athlete, a sneaky good athlete. He's creative at using his physical abilities to draw fouls inside. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Utah. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long, and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. That free throw missing. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Aflalo kicks to Billups. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on Kirilenko. Oh, and this is a crafty move by Billups, making sure he's in the end while being fouled. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And guys, the numbers don't lie. I mean, he was such a reliable presence at the free throw line all throughout last season. 
First free throw is good. And Billups is a clutch performer, someone who isn't afraid of taking big shots. I just love how fearless he is. And so Billups nails both of them. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Passes it to Millsap. Hayward up top. Back to Millsap. Just five to shoot. Watson kicks to Hayward. The Jazz working the ball around now. Another miss by Utah. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. Now here's Billups. Defense is right there. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jams. Utah. They lead by one. Time called here. The Jazz decide to talk it over. On defense, the Nuggets, they trail by one. Pass to Millsap. Hayward looking over the floor. He kicks to Watson. Shot clock at five. Here's Millsap. Rebound by Nene. Nene's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Outside Billups for the lead, and the shot's good from the name. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. Now here's Watson, still scoreless. Millsap, and it's slammed in by Millsap. Millsap is a quiet kind of a guy, but I like seeing him take over offensively, and he can be streaky after he connects on the few, though. You know he's in the zone. Now here's Billups. They trail by one. Over Watson. Rebounded by the Jazz. Kirilenko's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Watson. Now here's Millsap. Now the dish to Watson. Millsap left side. And he drops it in from the low post. Millsap's got 14 points now in the second half. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Shoot from 12. Millsap grabs the miss. Jazz leading by three. The pass to Kirilenko. Back to Hayward. Kicks it to Watson. Millsap a screen. Watson, the pass to Millsap. That one doesn't drop. For Denver, they've gone 7 of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Now Smith. Back to Billups. Out to Smith. Denae's setting the pick for Smith. It's Martin on the wing. Over Kirilenko. Offensive rebound. Jazz have gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. Bell dishes to Kirilenko. Passes it to Watson. Now he. 
Feeds it to Milsham. Over in the A, and it's Milsham. That time on the assist by Hayward. 24 points for Paul Milsham. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Outside Billups. They need this one. And the three ball is good. Phillips has got 12 in the game. He drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. And here's Watson. Scoreless thus far. Feeds the Millsap. Hayward at the elbow. Kirilenko kicks to Watson. Outside Kirilenko. Jazz passing it around. Watson's shot is off. The Nuggets trail. Pass to Smith. 55 seconds left to play in the third. Phillips passes to Martin. Over Kirilenko. Martin with the bucket. Good to see Martin taking the aggressive path inside. He knows how effective he can be when he does that. Utah's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Pass to Millsap. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Millsap's got 18 points just in the second half. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Smith for three. Another three for Denver. An absolute sharpshooter. J.R. Smith always rises with confidence. The feed to Kirilenko. To the inside. Out to Hayward. Here is Bell. Over Smith. No good from Bell. From deep three-point territory. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Nuggets lead by one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Pepsi Center. as we begin the fourth. And for in the lead. Now the pass to Harrington. Smith with it. From down in the low post, it goes. That defense is not going to bother Smith at all. He's no stranger to having to work through some contact. Outside Williams. Inside, the basket by Elson. Yeah, nothing too fancy, it, just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Smith outside. Williams with the block. Clark sets a screen. Williams inside, working on Smith. Passes to Williams. On the top of the key. Rebound by the Nuggets. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. Outside Anthony. From 15 feet away. Rebounded by Howard. Utah trailing here. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. And the call will be against Ty Lawson. That is his first foul of the game. Anderson, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Higgins, he's checked in for the Jazz.
He feeds it to Watson. Five on the clock. Williams for three. Trains the three-pointer. Williams has got 23. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Watson outside. Back to Smith. This one for three. That is in there. Watson with the assist. Smith's got five points in the quarter. And all quarter long, he's been zeroed in and, and knocks down big shot after big shot here in the fourth. Back to Williams. And he banks in the lane. He's got 25. Just staying nimble inside. Williams manages to get around the contact. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Anderson and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. The first one drops. And Anderson supplies just a bunch of energy on both ends. A high-flying big guy who can throw it down with the best of them. And the Nuggets making a change here. Nene is checked in. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. He should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Watson's shot is off. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. It's Carmelo Anthony on the way. Nene with the screen on Kirilenko. Here's Anthony. Back to Smith. Austin in the corner. Outs one up. And he makes that one. And the Nuggets lead by two. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Now here's Williams. To the paint. Here's Singletary. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. <laughs> Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Watson the pass to Nene. They set the pick. Left side, Anderson. Singletary with the rebound. Jazz have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth, though. Pretty nice efficiency there. The kick out to Williams. to the middle right block shot and there's another one for the jams I, I love the ball movement there he put that on a silver platter just served him up time called here the nuggets decide to talk it over and, and team strategies closely guarded one aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to yeah typically there's some type of adjustment made out of the timeout it might be major or it could be just a slight tweak a different look for Denver. Kenyon Martin, he's checked in for Anderson. Follow comes in for Smith. And Chauncey Billups is subbed in for Ty Lawson. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, Kevin. Well, George Carl just going over the game plan with his team. Now he asked the defense to lock it down inside. He said, let's get physical. I don't want them to think we're soft in there. No more easy shots in the paint. So that's what the defense is set to do. Guys? Okay, David, much appreciated. Now here's a follow. Nene setting the pick for Billups. It's Nene, high post. A follow outside. From deep three-point land, an absolute bomb from three-point range. 
and the Nuggets lead by one. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Now here's Williams. Here's Millsap. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And that's now 28 points for Millsap. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Phillips against Williams. A follow outside. There's the triple. Nailed from three-point land. Alvaro's got six in the quarter. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Yeah, you got that right. I mean, you got it real right. They are lighting it up from beyond the arc this half. Williams, the teardrop falls in. Williams has got it all tied up now for Utah. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, Keep making them pay. Now, here's the name. And the foul called on Paul Milson. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. It's Martin on the wing. Back to a follow. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Six on the shot clock, and that one's good, Anthony. And Anthony, really one of the most confident jump shooters. An elite-level scorer who gets plenty of opportunity. Now here's Hayward. Feeds it to Millsap. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Millsap's got 30 points. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Here's Martin. Outside, Billups. Takes the three. Rebounded by Bell. For Utah, they've gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the fourth quarter. Really getting it done. Williams against Martin. Outside Williams. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he's been rock solid. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Now here is Martin. A follow outside. Phillips kicks to Martin. Here's Anthony. Basket good. Anthony's got 25 points. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Now here's Hayward. Down low, here's Millsap, and Millsap shoots it in. Well done by Hayward on the assist that time. He's able to spot a wide-open teammate because he plays with his head up. Outside, Billups. Outside, Mark. Back to Billups. From deep of follow. And there's the call on the net. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Utah shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. Williams against Phillips. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Nene, the screen. Here's Anthony. Utah with the rebound. Millsap's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Millsap sets the pick for Williams. 
And the Jazz, another three. Well, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Pass to Anthony. Over Hayward. And Hayward with the block. Boy, that's excellent defense from Hayward. He did a nice job challenging and got a hand on that shot as a result. Here's a follow. Nene right side. Phillips inside the line. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Phillips has got nine points now in just the second half. And it's clear that Phillips is a gamer of gamers. This guy loves having the ball in his hands in these situations. Now here's Williams. Out to Hayward. Just five on the clock. Goes up on the wing. Again, the Jazz score. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speech is at halftime. We've got both of these teams fired up. Anthony against Kirilenko. Manet down low. Outside, Billups. Another shot. And that's two points on the way. Phillips has got four points this quarter. Continuously working in close. Phillips earning that bucket. Outside Williams. Goes up the screen on Phillips. Williams. And again at Utah. And, and, and Williams being that seasoned veteran just stayed calm in that important stretch of the game. Doesn't allow the moment to overwhelm him. Now here's Anthony. Nene, the screen. Anthony, the pass to Nene. Good on the shot. Carmelo Anthony showing you his passing skill there. Defensive foul. Carmelo That's his fourth personal foul. 13 foul. At the line for your nuggets, Nene. One shot. That one falls for Nene. And really, the tension could not be higher right now. And he looked like he was shooting free throws at practice. What a cool customer. Now here's Williams. Goes out the screen on Hills. Williams from outside. And the rebound goes to Nene. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Phillips kicks to Anthony. Outside, Martin. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Nene is setting the pick for Anthony. Over Millsap. A shot by Anthony, no good. They came close there to tying it up. Yeah, you know, and after the way they fought back into it here in the fourth, that would have been a big bucket for them. You know, even though it's a point blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Martin kicks to a follow. To Anthony. Nene with the screen on Hayward to tie it up. It falls! A huge shot to tie it up. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And the Jazz call time here. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Three-pointer, Bell misses the trade. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. 
from the Pepsi Center in downtown Denver. We're back in a moment. set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Now here's Anthony. A follow right side. Lock at six. It's stolen by Bell. Hayward outside. For three, trains it from beyond the arc. Bell's got the first points here in the overtime period for the Jams. Now a flow. Outside Billups. Just five to shoot. The shot by Nene, no good and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Millsap sets the pick for Williams. And the Jazz, another three. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Aflalo finds Anthony outside Billups. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not-so-unlucky 13 shots. And how about the size Billups has at that point guard spot? Even when he gets hit, he's got the strength to play through the contact. The pass to Hayward. Back to Williams. Inside. And Hayward gets it to go on the assist by Williams. And the Jazz lead by six. Around two minutes into overtime now. It's been a good one. And here is Billups. A follow outside. Knocks down the three ball. And dependable at running the offense. Billups just understands his teammates depend on him to get them involved. Williams passes to Millsap. Williams against Billups. Dishes to a follow. Back to Billups to tie it up. Millsap grabs the miss. Millsap's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here is Bell. Pass to Hayward. Fires the three. Martin gets the rebound. The Nuggets trail by three. Three minutes gone now here in overtime. Back to Billups. Billups double team. A follow outside. Nene setting the pick for a follow. A second chance effort. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Paul Millsap picks one up. Muscle Nene brings on both ends. Man. He knows how to use it, too. A guy you don't want to fool around with at all. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he does get the second one. And that brings them within two. They've got to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. 
Williams against Phillips. Millsap a screen on Phillips. Outside Millsap. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Three. Millsap's got 35 in the game. A huge possession and Millsap comes through. He's known as a leader and that is how you lead by example. Nene with the screen on Hayward. Anthony kicks to Billups. Billups double team. Outside for Martin. Shot clock at six. Here's Nene. And he lays it straight in. Nene's got 24. Boy, he's playing out of his head. Nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. So far, no go. Now here's Williams. Millsap in the corner. Nice ball movement by Utah. Williams for three. Denver grabs the miss. Guys, a critical time for them in this ballgame. You got to play mistake free. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. On offense, here are the Jazz. Three-point lead. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possession. Outside for Millsap. A three-pointer off the mark. Denver calls timeout. They're trailing by three. 20 seconds left to play in the first overtime. What's your take, guys? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. seconds left in the first overtime. Anthony dishes to Nene. And it's Kurlenko with the rebound. And they commit an intentional foul. See another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. And that's an intentional foul. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. The line for the Jets. Two shots. Shot two. Gets the first, and that gives them a four point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're behind by five. We've got 13 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Guys, your thoughts? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. They, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. To the inside. He kicks it to Anthony. A follow outside from deep three point territory. And no good that time. And so it's Utah with the win. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. They probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire, but give them credit, they were able to regroup in that overtime, and, and this win 
has to feel satisfying. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. See you later.